Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about chemical reactions. So in the last video, um, we learned that molecules are just different atoms that are bonded together in different ways. We've talked about how atoms are little building blocks like Lego pieces and you put them together in different combinations and numbers to make uh, an infinite amount of different things and everything in the entire universe is made up of different combinations of these different Lego blocks or atoms. Okay, And when you link several atoms together you have what we call a molecule. Now we talked about the different kinds of bonds that are between these atoms. We said that there are ionic and covalent bonds, but regardless of the type of bond, it really all comes down to the little negative electrons that float around the nucleus of the atom and how they interact with other electrons and other atoms to make those atoms stick together to create that bond. And when you break that bond, energy comes out. Okay. But when these bonds are together and these atoms are connected by these bonds, this is what we call a molecule. And a molecule is just two or more atoms put together. An atom by itself is just an atom. When you combine it with one or two or more of its other atom friends by bonds, it's what we call a molecule. Okay? So the energy that is between these atoms is what creates these bonds, and that's what comes out whenever there's an explosion. Now these little tiny explosions are happening all the time in your body, these tiny little explosions, and that's where the energy that you need to power your life functions, from breathing to blinking to walking around to talking, that's where all this stuff comes from, is these tiny little explosions, kind of like the atomic bomb, but on a much smaller scale, happening constantly inside of your body and everywhere in the universe to make anything and everything that's happening happen. So chemistry is just the breaking and the, re and the recombining of these bonds between these atoms um, and putting them back together in different combinations. That's what chemistry is, okay? So let's say that um, we have um, two different molecules, okay? Let's just call this molecule one. Okay. And we have molecule 2. Now, in reality, I should probably do this, right? Because molecules are more than one atom at a time, right? So this is a molecule. This is molecule 1. And this is molecule 2. And when we put those together, it makes molecule Molecule three, okay? That's actually not actually, there we go. Molecule three, okay? That doesn't matter what the molecules are. You, we're, that's why we're just calling it one, two, and three, okay? It doesn't really matter what their names are. The point of what I'm trying to show you right now is that two different molecules put together, you take these individual Lego pieces and you break them up into their individual little pieces by breaking these bonds. Remember, some energy is coming out when you do that. Um, typically, is heat um, and sometimes light. Okay, um, so you break apart these bonds, and then you have just the individual Lego pieces. Right? And then you can take these guys and recombine them back together into different uh, combinations and maybe you take a couple of twos and a couple of ones you can take a couple of these twos here and a couple of these ones and you put them back together in a different combination to make this guy here so this new molecule molecule three has three atoms from this molecule that you started off with and it has two atoms from this molecule that you started off with and now we just took them apart, broke them up into their individual components, put them back together in a new way, and now we have molecule three. And that's all chemistry is, okay? But chemistry, this is what's happening constantly everywhere, and that's the only reason why anything that happens, happens. So 
This is called a chemical reaction. This whole thing is called a chemical reaction. Now, a chemical reaction has things that you're mixing or putting together and things that you end up with, okay? And the things that you're gonna combine or put together into a space are what we call your reactants. And the things that you end up with are called your products. Okay. So molecules one and two, these are your reactants. And molecule three is the product. Okay. And that is chemistry in a nutshell.